Hey, I'm David Fortier here at the Military Arms Channel, filling in for Tim. We got something really interesting today. Uh, I'm here with Matt Gwynn from MGI, and we've got his Hydra rifle. And what's interesting about this is that this is a true modular rifle, multi-caliber. Um, you have a lot of interesting rifles like the ACR and the SCAR that have been out there. Uh, the problem is, is that although they have you know great features as far as being able to change the barrels and stuff like that, there really aren't other calibers available for them, and they're kind of limited in a lot of ways. And this is very different, very interesting. That was developed based on combat experience of your father in Vietnam. And why don't I be quiet and why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Okay. Well, the Hydra uh, Mark 15 modular weapon system is based on the proven platform, the AR-15 M16. A platform. What we did is we took the proven platform and wanted to add capabilities to it. These capabilities are multi-caliber, increased reliability, increased efficiency, and increased accuracy. What we did is we started with the basic platform and right now this uh, version of the Hydra is configured to shoot 9mm ammunition out of a standard Colt style mag stick magazine. And what we'll do here, David, is we'll convert this weapon system from 9mm to shoot 762 by 39 using the same weapon. Okay, so with this no is tools. a 9 millimeter blowback gun. Correct. Okay, so let's see how it's done. Okay, now with no tools, what we'll do is we'll convert this weapon system over so it'll be the same rifle yeah. shooting 762 using the most reliable magazine in the world for that cartridge being an AK magazine. Okay. okay. We'll start with the upper receiver and we'll remove the uh, barrel. It's as simple as flipping up the safety bail, pulling the safety bail forward. Swinging the locking arms out to 90 degrees. And David, have you ever changed the barrel on an AR before? Oh yeah, I've changed quite a few. You need some wrenches, you how, need a how, vise. How long did it take you? Uh, not, not that fast. Okay. <laughs> uh, barrel pull straight up and out after the locking arms are released. A couple of quick points about this barrel. It's a standard 9mm barrel. Method of operation doesn't matter. Barrel length doesn't matter because the barrels are pre-floated. And as we mentioned, barrel caliber doesn't matter because we're going to change the caliber. The only thing that matters is that it's a standard barrel. And the reason that's important, it means availability is never an issue. You can get the barrels for this weapon system from any manufacturer in the country. Once the barrel is removed, next thing that we have to change is the bolt, since we're changing calibers. And because this is a blowback gun. Upper receiver comes off just as any standard AR-15 16 does. At that point, standard 9mm bolt comes out and is removed. Okay. That's two of the components that we need to change. The third one, in order to get this weapon system to accept the AK-47 magazine, is the magwell. Because it, as you know, the AK-47 magazine will not fit into this 9mm magwell. So what we do now is we disengage the trigger guard, press down on the mag release button, slide the magwell up and off the receiver. Okay. Now what we'll do is we've got a magwell specifically designed for the AK-47 magazine. Before installing that though, notice that this is the lower receiver for MGI's Hydra modular weapon system. This is the lower that you'll always be squeezing the same trigger on, which means your muscle memory on your trigger pull remains constant. That makes you a better shooter. But at the same time, this accepts all standard GI parts. Correct. It, it's a mil-spec hammer, trigger. So, but I could also, I could take a uh, uh, Geisel uh, trigger and put it in there. I could put a different aftermarket trigger. I could change the buffer and the buffer spring. I could change the stock on it because all standard parts fit. That's correct. All, all mil-spec standard parts will fit on this weapon. Okay. Just reverse the process. Slide the AK-47 magwell on. Re-engage the trigger guard. At this point, reattach the upper receiver to the lower receiver. Locking arms are out. Taking your standard 762 barrel, 16 inch gas impingement operating system. Drop the barrel in. Close the locking arms, pull the retention block down over the locking arms, retention block snaps into place, safety bail snaps into place. At this point, the only thing you need left is 
reinstall the bolt carrier group for the 762 by 39. And we still have the same lower receiver, which means it's the same weapon. Same serialized part. Same upper receiver, same lower, same pistol grip, same stock, same fire control group. However, we now have a weapon that's capable of shooting 7.62 by 39 using standard AK-47 magazines. Except for that this doesn't have a paddle magazine release. This actually has a push button, so you retain your muscle memory and your mag release. No matter what magazine you're using in this weapon system, mag release button is always in the same location. Okay, so I could take this and I could put a standard AR-15 style magazine well on it. Correct. And then I could swap from 22 on rifle, 223, 300 blackout, 6.5 Grendel, 6.8 SPC, 458 SOCOM, 50 Bayerwolf by swapping your barrel and your bolt out. And then if I wanted to change to a, a pistol caliber, we could switch to a different magazine well. Or if I want to change to 762 by 39. Correct. And it's all just plug and play. Yes. And then the rest of the parts are all standard AR-15 OEM parts. That's correct. That's, it's, it truly is as simple as that. And it isn't cost prohibitive. No, it suggested retail is $12.99. And then if someone wanted to, you could still buy the individual parts separately. That's correct, yes. Okay. MGI's Hydra. This was originally designed. Uh, by a special forces officer. It was originally conceptualized by a special right. forces officer during his uh, combat time in Vietnam as far as having a multi-caliber weapon that could feed the enemy's ammunition from their magazines and have a similar uh, sound. Right. And it has evolved over the years into something that's really pretty neat. And uh, we're at the Big Three here, Big Three East in Florida. Had a chance to have you come out. Uh, really appreciate allowing us to see this and this is really something that's kind of neat that uh, I know some of you are going to want to check out.